Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine. And together with all Ukrainian people, it is the second new year that we meet in times of war. I cannot use the word celebrate when all we want is victory. Victory and peace, but peace only after victory. Some people get tired and they say, well, please negotiate. An extremely important reminder and huge difference. If Ukraine stops fighting in this war, Ukraine disappears. If Russia stops fighting in this war, war disappears. 2023 was a difficult year. At the very start of it, we hoped it will bring victory to Ukraine and its allies, but we still continue fighting. What is good? There are victories we are proud of and victories that show us the way to the final victory. So let's try and look at the most important achievements of Ukrainian armed forces in 2023. Weak reaction of the world on the annexation of Crimea in 2014 was a very big geopolitical mistake that Putin actually understood as green light to continue his invasion. Crimea is important for the future Ukrainian victory because today it is used as a huge military base by Russians to supply their soldiers and as an important logistics point. But this year Ukrainians managed to destroy Russian air defense system on the peninsula which led to the escape of Russian Black Sea Navy from the peninsula. I don't know why global media do not stress the attention of people worldwide on this fact, but now Russian Navy escaped from Crimea to Novorossiysk, which is back to Russia, for the first time since 2014. In 2023, Ukrainian army destroyed the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Navy in Sevastopol, which is both effective and symbolic. Also, the commander of the Black Sea Navy, Russian Black Sea Navy, disappeared. He was seen once on a Zoom trying to pretend that he survived the attack, but after that, no. In total, we have destroyed 14 Russian warships. That is a lot and that is super expensive. You cannot build a ship in a month. Also, ship repairment plants were on fire really often and Ukrainians took back control over oil towers deep in the Black Sea that Russians were using for the support of their navy. So let's sum up this extremely important Ukrainian victory 2023. Black Sea is vital for the transportation of food and goods. Russia used it as a weapon and used food as a weapon threatening dozens of countries who are dependent on Ukrainian food that they will block all the ships. Countries that are actually NATO members have access to the Black Sea also suffered from that with no reaction from NATO. This is Romania, Bulgaria and Ukrainians decided to act. In the result of this military campaign within big Ukrainian counter-offensive, we have destroyed Russian Black Sea Navy headquarters, potentially killed their commander, made their ships escape from the Black Sea Aquatorium of Ukraine while destroying 14 of these warships and also unblocking the Black Sea for global trade. It is a problem that global media predicting Ukrainian counter-offensive hoped it will be something like a Rambo movie, because it's never like that in real life. Think about the battles of the Second World War, for example. Plus, counter-offensive is not only people, but also the machinery and weapons they possess. We are still waiting for F-16s, long-range missiles, but without aviation, without real support from the air, we are very successful. Ukrainians managed to keep the front line as it was, and no new territories were occupied by invaders, which is also an extremely important achievement if you think about the sizes of our countries and armies. 
all of us were observing the situation in Bakhmut, in Avdiivka, in Vuhledarsk, and what we've seen, just huge Russian sacrifices with no real benefit. They have killed more than 350,000 of their soldiers, burned hundreds of machinery and achieved nothing. What is also good, Ukrainians started developing a Plotsdarm on the left bank of the Dnipro River in Kherson region. And soon all the territories will return back, just as Kherson did. And now victory number three. Tell me please, did you believe at the very start of Russian invasion that war is possible on Russian territory? Putin was trying to persuade it's going to be blitzkrieg, we will take Ukraine really quickly and voila! Two years of this war and Russia is on fire. It is another victory of Ukrainian counteroffensive that takes place not only on Ukrainian territory, but finally on Russian. I like this quote, war always returns home and its home is Russia. It is not easy because our allies who supply us with missiles do not let us target Russian territory and we respect the rules. That's why we develop successful Ukrainian drones and modify Ukrainian missiles so that we can reach Russia and dip inside Russia too. During this year there were lots of fires and explosions on Russian military and logistic infrastructure objects. I'm also proud that Ukrainians never target civilian objects, demonstrating that we are not orcs. Russians deep inside, close to Siberia and in Moscow, have felt what is war. They've seen explosions, they've seen smokes, they've heard air raid alerts. But what is most important, Russia is in panic. This is something they did not expect is possible, but this is also something that demonstrates Russian vulnerability. They are not ready to fight back. They are classic bullies. What we also notice is the developing network of Russian volunteer groups who want to fight against modern Russian regime. And this seems very optimistic, taking into account that they have succeeded in some of their tours in Belhorod region, for example. Do you remember how at the beginning of Russian war in Ukraine, the so-called Russian president threatened the world. If anything happens on the territory of Russia, he will nuke all of us. And what do we see? Lots of Russian military factories and logistics infrastructure are on fire. People are in panic and no nuclear strikes. Once again, Russia is a bully and the fact that we've managed to demonstrate it to the world is another Ukrainian victory. Taking into account the effectiveness, bravery of Ukrainian army, I do believe we deserve to be a part of NATO. And hopefully sometime soon we will become the members of NATO. One of the strongest and extremely faithful. Please let me know in the comments below, do you think Ukraine will become a member of NATO sometime soon? I know we cannot do it during the times of war, but hopefully after the victory we will join NATO. Because I personally think we deserve. What we also deserve is to return back home to the European Union. And another important diplomatic victory is the start of accession talks with Ukraine and Moldova. And this is an important victory. Not all victories have to be military, some of them are civilizational. And for the final divorce of Ukraine with Ruski Mir and its toxicity, it is vital to join the European family. What is also good, I think this will be a mutually beneficial process, because my big, brave and generous country can definitely bring new spirit to the European Union. When Russian war in Ukraine started in 2014, Ukraine was seen as weak. When full-scale invasion began in 2022, many believed we will not survive a week or a month. And now, after almost two years of war, we demonstrate more and more Ukrainian victories. And we are very grateful for your support and faith in Ukraine. 
I dream that 2024 will be the year of our victory. But my Ukrainian experience also tells everything is possible and we have to stand united. Please don't get tired of this war that you're not physically fighting, because Russia is watching. And I do hope that in 2024 we will stop their invasion, we will see Putin in The Hague, and we will celebrate the victory of all democratic world. Thank you for your support, for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons, but most importantly, thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!